Hello everyone on YouTube. Just doing a little overview of the Daymac Gatto. Uh, I believe this is the one of the newer models uh, that Daymac made because it does have a LED headlight. Um, these were very popular back about four or five years ago. Um, they're harder to find now, but if you can get your hands on one, they are pretty nice e-bikes. This one in particular only has 49 kilometers on it. Um, the original owner uh, had it sitting outside and the original batteries died. Um, so it was just upgraded to lithium. So first of all, um, open the seat. There's a key on the side here. You just put the key in and turn. And then the seat will be able to just come up. There's a good amount of space in here. Um, so here is the plug. This is your circuit breaker. So that controls your master power on or off. This guy unplugs. Um, here's your battery. Normally, um, there is two of these with the stock uh, configuration, and uh, they are lead acid batteries. It's 48 volts. Uh, two are in each of these boxes. This one is lithium, so it's just one singular unit um, inside of here that is 48 volts. If we look around on the side here, we got um, obviously our pedal system. Um, by the motor. This motor is rated at 500 watts, but uh, realistically it can do probably 1500 to 2000 uh, without getting too warm. This one has an upgraded controller that was installed. Um, it can go about, with the speed limiter off, around 40 kilometers an hour, but you can soup these up to go upwards of 50 or 60. Um, and uh, another thing that's notable with these scooters is uh, the brakes. These are hydraulic brakes, disc brakes, front and rear. So this just takes regular uh, motorcycle DOT brake fluid in there. So we'll put the battery back in it and uh, we'll do an overview. Just plugs in. We'll turn the bike on every single time the uh, bike when you turn it for on for the first time or plug the battery in the alarm will go off um, there's unlock and lock on the key fob so that's unlock and then lock if someone moves the bike the alarm system will go off and it is very loud okay we will put the key in the ignition turn to the side now the bike is on um, as you can see there we have a battery indicator we are pretty low on battery so we got the turn signals both sides and in the rear and to cancel it all you do is you just push that button in you have your high beams low beams if you can see there and yeah um, overall the size of the scooter um, it is a smaller sized scooter, so it's good for shorter individuals. Um, I would recommend, uh, or someone just learning how to drive one of these, you can sit further back on the seat if you are a taller individual, but overall they are, this is a fairly light e-bike, so it's very easy to manage. Um, normally these bikes come with the uh, rear pannier uh, lockable case on them. This one I took it off on, but uh, yeah. They are tubeless tires on here is another benefit. Um, so flats are more rare. Okay guys, if you have any questions about the scooter, let me know.